The port administrator says things are getting back to normal here at the Port of Baltimore ahead of schedule, but a potential strike could change that. Eight months after the key bridge collapse and business at the Port of Baltimore is almost back to normal. We're at about 90% where we were pre-incident on the amount of vessels that they're calling uh, our docks and we're a little bit more than 80% on containers uh, that are moving through. The increased ship traffic translates to increased work for port workers who were out of a job for 11 weeks while the port was closed for bridge cleanup. Then the members of the International Longshoremen's Association went on strike for three days last month over a contract dispute. They settled the issue of pay, sending them back to work, but they still haven't come to an agreement on the issue of automating machinery at the docks. It's a hard thing to do to, to watch your jobs go away, so we're going to do everything we can to protect them. In the same breath, we know technology's coming and we gotta, we got to embrace that, whether it be coming from different jobs that the technology produces, we got to make sure those jobs are union jobs. The union has until January 15th to work out an agreement or there could be another strike. The Port of Baltimore is not associated with those negotiations, but is already starting to see an impact. We are aware that there are shippers and carriers that are moving cargo away from the East Coast and the Gulf Coast uh, to take into consideration the possibility that there could be some type of action uh, again in the middle of, of January. Both the port and the union agree that another port shutdown, the third in a year, would be detrimental to business and port workers and want to avoid it at all costs. After a bridge collapse and a three-day strike, for us, it's, it's more impactful than other places, so it, it would be terrible, right? And then some of our cargo could, could go to other ports and different, on the different coast, so it, it could be long-lasting, and it could be a long-lasting impact, not a short-term impact, so it's very concerning. Scott Cowan says there has been some movement at the negotiation table, but could not elaborate any further. In Dundalk, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.